When I show this to you, what do you think? Do you want it? Nope. Nah. Why? Dumb. It's dumb? Yeah. Okay, oh, hold on a second, guys. I just got a call. Hello? Oh, yes, sir. Really? Oh my God, yeah, I'll, I'll let them know. Sorry, guys, that was the president calling. And he just told me that owning this toy is now the only proof you're not a baby. Well, I mean, I have one, so that's good. Are you guys babies, or? Nope. Nah. Well, you don't have the toy, so you must be a baby. Unless you have it, then you're not. Oh, okay, so now you two aren't babies, but are you a baby? Are you a baby? No. Well, you don't have the toy. What do you think about kids that don't have the toy? Mm, sad. Weird. Sad? Weird. Why? Because they're a baby. The strategy worked even better than I had hoped, so I rebranded the toy's packaging and brought it to Mark to see what he thought. It's horrible. I mean, what specifically? A uh, kid in a diaper with um, children pointing at him. If this is the best you got, you're awful. I mean, then, I'm putting a lot of effort and resources into trying to sell. Well, you're, not, nice. you're not good at what you do. Um, you're not good at what you do. Working with Mark was about as much fun as playing with his toys, but I was convinced I could win him over if I showed him results. So I wrote and shot a professional TV commercial for the Doinkit that was guaranteed to get kids to buy it. If you are between the ages of three and eight, please listen closely. Owning a doin' kit is now the only proof that you are not a baby. If you don't have this toy, people will think you wear diapers and cry all the time. Everybody will think you sleep in a crib and drink from a bottle if you don't have one of these. And whenever you speak, all people will hear is goo goo and gaga. So tell your mom or dad to buy you a doin' kit. Because otherwise, as far as anyone's concerned, you're a baby. Oh, it can also be used as a toy ball. Cut. Nice. It was perfect. But when I tried to buy ad time on a local station... You're lying to the kids and saying that they're a baby if they don't have this toy. They said a commercial like this would never make it on TV. And that meant I needed a new approach. 